The Manpower Ministry is forming a committee to study the issues of annuities or longevity insurance involving representatives from unions, insurance companies and social workers. It aims to come up with workable proposals. This was revealed by the Prime Minister at a dialogue today. 120 youths from young NTUC, the right target group for the Prime Minister to again drive home the key messages behind changes to the CPF scheme to tackle the challenges of an ageing population. Do you want to have your money when you are still active and able and could actually work? Or is it better to put aside something more so that when you are with dentures and <laughs> wheelchair, you have a little bit to look after yourself. That's the choice to make. Mr. Lee emphasized he would like to keep the longevity insurance scheme flexible, basic and cheap. Normally, when people think of insurance, they buy, in case I die early, I will collect. This is the opposite. I buy. In case I live long, then I will collect. But I don't want to have anybody who is 85 years old or 90 years old and said, my CPF finished, I have no insurance, and now I need to live, and I have nothing to, nobody to look after me, medical care, house, food, everything. Then what happens? Now that's a problem. So therefore, we have to deal with this. Many, many of you will be 50 years old, and quite many of you will one day be 80 years old. And I'm worrying now for that day when it comes. I don't want you to say, you know, 50 years ago, the government just switched off. Now I'm left with nothing. And that's what I'm trying to do. It's giving me gray hairs. <laughs> The subject of longevity insurance or compulsory annuity has been discussed quite widely ever since Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong raised the issue during his National Day Rally speech. And today, Mr Lee also explained why he feels the longevity insurance should not be an opt-out scheme. With the longevity insurance, I think we would have to be a lot more careful about opting out because the consequences are very far down the road. You need to have enough people in so that I have a big insurance pool and then I can have the cost down and everybody can participate and get the benefit. So there is a, there, from the point of view of making this scheme work, it's necessary to have everybody in. More details will be revealed when the Manpower Minister delivers a ministerial statement in Parliament next month.